Hi, I'm Scott Hardy, founder and president of Top Class Actions. I've got a number of great class actions to chat with you about today. First, I want to lead into the Continental Wet Wipe Flushable Wipes Recall Class Action. So these flushable wipes, they were recalled due to bacteria. We actually had our viewer contact class counsel to discuss her story. This includes Continental flushable wipes, Continental Gentle Plus flushable wipes, wipes sold over a seven month period of time this year, 2020. So the complaint claims unfathomably Kimberly Clark continued its mass nationwide distribution of contaminated wipes for another seven months, even after they knew about this was happening. If you bought Continental flushable wipes, you might have been using bacteria infested wipes on very sensitive parts of your body. Gross. Next settlement I want to chat with you about is the Igloo class action lawsuit. The, this alleges that the Latitude 90 quart cooler offered 120 hour ice retention. Doesn't actually work that well. If you end up putting ice in there for 120 hours, according to this class action, you'll open it up to water. So if you bought an igloo cooler, you'll want to submit your information here. If you have an igloo cooler that's not the latitude, but you're having a similar problem, I would always advise you to reach out to class counsel on this. Class counsel, they've already filed this class action against igloo. I'm sure they may very well be happy to file another class action or expand the scope to include additional coolers. The next class action, is Two Town Cider House Hard Cider Class Action Settlement, alleging that their Two Town Cider House Hard Cider was falsely advertised. Class Action claimed that they falsely advertised its hard cider and other products as containing no artificial flavors. However, several of the products contain DL malic acid. And where the defendants always come in on this is they say, DL malic acid, this occurs naturally in nature. Well, it does but you're not putting the natural version in your product. You're putting in a powdered version, you're putting in an artificial version that was recreated. It's not natural. The next class action is the Red Baron Pizzas class action lawsuit. This class action alleges that they advertise a preservative free crust and it contains no artificial flavors. The complaint claims that despite these representations, the pizzas allegedly contain several preservatives, including sodium sterile lactylate, enzymes, monoglycerides, diglycerides, and also modified food starch and hydrolyzed soy and corn proteins, which contain MSG. Lastly, I wanted to talk about the Wells Fargo hazard insurance fees on foreclosures. This is a class action lawsuit stating that Wells Fargo Bank, quote, through a deceptive pattern and practice going back years, fraudulently charges people buying back their foreclosed homes with unused hazard insurance premiums. According to the complaint, Kansas law allows homeowners under a foreclosure judgment to redeem their properties within three months to a year, depending on the balance remaining on the loan. Apparently, Wells Fargo often purchases hazard insurance to protect the property. However, Wells Fargo typically buys coverage for a full year, even though insurance can be purchased for shorter periods of time, some as short of a month. So that's the issue here is that, you know, people are getting foreclosed on, they're trying to buy their home back, they're trying to get back in. Uh, they're, they're, they're trying to end these premiums, but then they're getting tacked on with additional fees that they have to pay to close out that horrible period in their life. If this happened to you, whether it be Wells Fargo or another bank, make sure to swing by, comment on the article, let us know. Uh, these class actions have a way of going national. They have a way of getting other banks targeted. Something I've mentioned before, of course, is talking to class counsel. If you're saying, hey, I'm with this mortgage lender, this happened to me, call class counsel, email class counsel, let them know. You know, they they want to be able to go after all these banks. They want to be able to settle things for consumers and they want to represent you. That's all I have this week. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic week.